You know, everybody, it seems that when you go to a place like Sonic Stadium or several other sites, there's one question that a lot of people have been asking recently. You see, I indeed posted exactly what one person had to say at DeviantArt, and it's gotten some responses over at the Sega forums, which is a surprise, um, as I mentioned, but... What's even more surprising, though, what's even more surprising, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that over at the Sonic Stadium, they're talking about something that's really, I guess, with this whole crossover, if you will, been bugging them, if you will. I know I just said that twice, so I apologize. But it's something that's been bugging them. And what's been bugging them, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that here in the crossover, this crossover initially, as far as the ending of both Mega Man 23 and Sonic 47, 247 are concerned, was done by the second Genesis wave. And a lot of people are debating this whole Genesis wave. They wonder exactly what effects it has had and not had. Mostly when it comes to robotization, because basically... When you see someone like Tails get turned into a roboticized master, and you see other characters like Shadow and Amy and Knuckles, it kind of makes you wonder exactly what effects it had. Now, now some people... Now, some people, if you will, now, for some people, sorry about that, I'm hearing some stuff in the background, but for some people, they're kind of confused a little bit. You see, they're not sure what to believe. You know, they're not sure what of ef what effect these Genesis waves have. You see, the first one, apparently according to many people, the first one was done by Eggman so that not only could he establish a world where basically where or recreate and establish a world where he had control, he had the advantage, but also after it was said and done, would wipe away the immunity that the beam aliens gave to those that were roboticized that they de-roboticized. Basically, he wanted to wipe that immunity cr clean so that he could be like, hey, I can now roboticize all of you and you wouldn't know it. But is that true? But did that happen? Because apparently, in 2.30, and... Six issues later after that, or five, seven, six, seven issues after that, he basically acknowledges that the effect that he wanted did not go into effect. That what the result that he wanted gave no result. In other words, nothing came about from what he wanted to do. Now, That being said, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I have to ask you all, what was, what, what, I have to ask you the same question else is, you know, what effect did it have? F, was it supposed to have? F, initially, and what effect does the second one have? Is the second one finally achieving what the first one did not? Or is it going to be the same result after it's all said and done? And you see, at the Sonic Stadiums, a lot of people are going back and forth about this. Because they're not too sure what's true and what's not. What's real and what's not. In fact, some people have even said that sooner or later, in their own way they've said this, Ian Flynn will have to explain what's going on here. We'll have to give exposition, explanation. Have to be straightforward with what the heck is going on. 
You know? Because even they are a little confused. Now, some fans, I give them credit, are trying to point out the obvious. They're trying to point out that, hey, just, they're trying to point out that, hey, look at it this way. You have group A, you have group B. Group A is those, are those, represents those that were roboticized by Eggman, Robotnik, and then de-roboticized by the beam, thus given immunity. For example, Loop of the Wolf Pack. On the other hand, you have Group B, which is the rest of the planet, the rest of the citizens of the planet, that were never roboticized, and thus were never given the immunity that the beam gave those that were. Thus making those in Group B more affected and more eligible for robotization than Group A. But then again, you wonder exactly how to, but then again, when you look at the crossover, as many people are trying to figure out, Tails gets turned into a roboticized master. And they're wondering, how do you explain that? Now, one person, now another individual over at the Sonic Stadiums, and several other forms, if you will, actually said, actually used this as an example. The example they used was perhaps when the worlds get reset in the image that Eggman, and let's say in this case now Wily want, that the immunity that Tails, along with Sonic, and those that were roboticized uh, by Eggman, Robotnik, if you will, that perhaps that immunity goes away until the worlds return to normal. Now that's a good now that's a good point, if you will. That does they do have a good point there, but the thing is, is it a good enough point? See, a lot of people are confused by this because they don't know whether what to believe. They they, they don't know wh where where to go. Oh, for they don't know what answers they're gonna get. They don't know how it could how that's possible for someone like Tails to be roboticized, even into a roboticized master, but yet, but yet be somebody that was immune, that's immune to roboticization. It doesn't make sense. Now, I know some people might give their own explanations here, and I, I, totally, I, I totally get where you guys will be coming from, because you have a right to say what you want to say, but... You, I'm, I'm just asking the question that these people at Sonic Stadium and several other sites have. What effects, what effects of the Genesis wave, what effects have the Genesis wave had on roboticization? Has it removed robot, the immunity from Group A while the world's reset in the image that Eggman, and in this case, as like I said, Wiley want in their images, or, or is, them, or is it still in effect? It's just that it's kind of like, you know, blocked from entering. Kind of like, let's say, let's say, for example, you got, the, you got this new series coming up real soon on CBS. It's basically about people living in this encased dome or something like that. As well as you take a movie like The Truman Show. You take a look at that as well. And you, you look at these, and for example, let's just say that's the world, you know, imagined or reimagined by Eggman and Wiley. It's a world trapped in a little dome, and the immunity, the robotization immunity cannot get in. Is that what it is? Is that what it's like? That it's trapped? That it's on the outside looking in? And that the only way it's going to get in is when everything's set back to normal? It might be. But again, this is a very, very good question peop this, this um, individual has. You know, they, they want to know. They want to know. These individuals want to know how the Genesis wave comes into effect when it comes to robotization. Is the immunity, is the immunity um, taken away? Is it still there? But like I said, probably on the outside looking in. 
what's going on. They, they're, they're confused about this. They want to know. And again, people have given them examples. People have said, hey, you got group A that's not going to be affected, but group B will be. And you know, when I read all of this, when I read this entire, all of this, all these posts related to this, it got me thinking exactly what I've said before in several other audio videos and not, well, not on camera, but objects in front of camera videos. And basically, the way I look at this is, if, now I'm not saying this is fact. I'm not saying that I know it's going to happen and I'm not saying Ian's going to do it this way. It's just a guessing, a guessing, it's just me guessing and giving my opinion. And what I guess, what my, my personal guess on this, my personal guessing point on this, and my personal guessing opinion is perhaps, perhaps we're going to be seeing the last of roboticization for quite some time. Think about it. Think about it. If this is going to be more, if they want to try to make this more closer to the game, then the best way to do it is to take out one thing that fans never thought you'd take out permanently, if again, just for a temporal time. And that's roboticization. And I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I wouldn't be surprised if this leads up to the roboticizing roboticization and any kind of roboticizer being taken out of the picture for a while and I mean quite a while well, to the point that Eggman will either be left with just legionization or even if that gets taken away at the same time he might just be left with going back to square one that's the way I look at it in my personal opinion my guessing my own personal guessing opinion that's the way I look at it I look at it at the fact that that's probably what it's going to lead up to, but I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Nobody's ever right. Nobody's ever, you know, correct in what they say or do. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm in the middle, if I'm close, whatever. The point is, the point is, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know exactly what we're going to get. We don't know what the result is, but it's, you know, just by looking at what these people are talking about, you know, it, 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 to me, I'm, I'm just going on a guess, a personal guessing opinion that something big is going to happen to the point that we will not have robotization for quite some time, maybe not even legionization, if you get, when I'm, get my drift. But we just have to wait and see. We just have to wait and see because I know, I know, it, I know this is confusing a lot of people as, because they don't know exactly what this Genesis wave and the second Genesis wave and everything, what effects it's had whatsoever on um, robotization. Nobody really knows. And quite frankly, it is kind of confusing. It makes you wonder. I mean, we all know storyline wise. That Eggman Robotnik wants the ability to roboticize the entire world, roboticize the entire all the citizens, including Sonic, to where the basically his robotic slaves. And if he says, "Robotic slave number two, get me a cup of tea," yes, master, here is your cup of tea. I mean, that's obviously what he wants. And as far as the global roboticizer goes, you know, I would not be surprised if we do get some exposition, if we do get an explanation as to why it was created. And, you know, perhaps somebody, perhaps the one individual that pointed this out, out on the on the Sonic on the Sonic Stadium might have a, might have a case, might have a point. See, perhaps the reason he wanted to roboticize the world is so that he could probably single out those that were not, and that those that were not would be eligible for legionization. You don't believe me? Take a look at two thirty seven and two thirty eight. Look what he was going to do to Lupe. What does that tell you? And if that is the case, hopefully we get some kind of explanation as to that being possibly the reason. But then again, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong.
you know, it, there's not much you can really do about that. Not, not really much. You know, we, as, as far as we know, you can't do much. So, you know, that's basically this is all I'm going to say on it, you know. But again, I want to know what you guys here at YouTube have, to, you Sonic fans here at YouTube and at Twitter have to think about, have to say about this. What do you think? What effects has the Genesis Wave had on robotization? Do you think it's had any effect whatsoever? And do you agree with what I had to say from what I read at the Sonic Stadiums? And if you don't believe me, go to Sonic Stadiums, go to the SSMB uh, section of it, uh, Sonic Stadium, the message board, go to the Archie's Sonic the Hedgehog area, click on the very last page, a few last pages there of that topic, and you'll see exactly what I mean. But again, I ask you guys the question. Do you think it had any kind of effect whatsoever? Do you think any of these, do you think the Genesis Waves had any effect? Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I'll talk to y'all later.